ओके ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट कांसेप्ट इज पेजनेशन ओके पेजनेशन इन रिएक्ट सो व्हाट इज अ पेजनेशन व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज अ पेजनेशन वी विल हैव वन एग्जांपल ओके सपोज वी वांट टू डिस्प्ले एम्प्लॉइज लाइक व्हाट एवर द एम्प्लॉइज आर देयर इन आवर कंपनी आई वांट टू डिस्प्ले ऑल द एम्प्लॉइज ओके सपोज माय कंपनी इज अ स्टार्टअप कंपनी आई एम हैविंग ओनली 50 एम्प्लॉइज दिस इज ओके बिकॉज एनी कंपनी विल स्टार्ट विद द स्टार्टअप ओनली first day itself they will not start in like very big company right mnc they have to start in a small company only so that time my employees what they have done is they have written one page in that page they have written this one so all 50 pages are coming but after 2 years my employees and this 5000 like 500 to 5000 if you are going to display this page what will happen see all the data it is having very large data right it will slow down your page and even it will not improve our performance also okay there is a performance problem to improve this uh, uh, like to solve this problem most of the companies what they will do hey why we want to show all the information one time we will show at a time 50 employees or we will show at a time 20 employees okay and whenever they want to go for next uh, we will add something like this okay let's go something like this click on two second page you load the second data you click on next button you load the next data you click on the next button okay so now here what is happening is uh, we are going to load our data uh, like a uh, chunk by chunk uh, like first 20 employees next 20 employees next 20 employees something like this okay this concept is nothing but a pagination okay so this is uh, like mainly here there will be two type of paginations okay so one is a server side pagination first one is a server side pagination and second one is a client side pagination okay client means uh, whatever the code front end is writing that is nothing but a client side and whatever the back end code is doing that is nothing but a server side okay suppose if they are asking client side pagination that means uh, what back end is saying uh, i will return all 100 employees in one api itself okay all 100 apis to one api itself you store that in a redex you store all employees in one redex now you write one table inside the table you show only first 10 employees first 10 employees you add a button next button you add a previous button yourself whenever you are clicking next button you know array methods are there right if i want to get a copy like index is there right slice slice is there right you give 11 to 20 so automatically you are going to get the next 20 that next 20 you display here again you are clicking another time again you use a slice method uh slice dot 21 to 30 again you display here this is this pagination is nothing but a client side pagination okay so either we can do a client side pagination or a server side pagination but server side pagination is the best approach because client side pagination also we need to store all the data right it will take some time load the data so that is the reason we will go for a server side pagination but whenever we are going with the server side pagination first we are displaying one page right server need to identify which data you want whether starting page data second page data or third page right which data you want we need to tell that one that is the reason there will be first parameter called page number what is the first parameter page number we will say page number 1 that means server will identify okay first 10 records i need to identify now second parameter what i want to do suppose in my ui code i am displaying 20 employees at a time that means how many uh, limit i am having it right that number is nothing but a limit okay what is the number second parameter limit some company they will write page limit limit or page limit both are same only page number is nothing but a which page you are page limit is nothing but a how many records you want to display in one page okay clear right these two parameters we need to send to the server if you are sending this to automatically you are going to get all the data okay so let us try to uh, add the pagination here in our employees code or we can go for a pay, uh, company's code also we can first let us try to do for the employees okay so let us go to our employees code employee okay if i am opening my api.js here i have done one small thing uh, see what is the parameter i am adding it uh, limit is equal to 150 what is that meaning uh, i am telling to my server hey server you queue till 150 at a time and my page number is equal to 1 for one page i am going to display how many records uh, 150 this is i don't want to print 150 records for demo only i have added now what i will do i will say page limit is equal to 
okay and i will say page number is equal to one now if i will save it and reload our page again okay i will click on employee see this time how many records is there 10 records okay i want to add it here the record number so that i will understand okay let us go to my employees employees dot uh, js here we are printing all employees right uh, let me write it so what is the variable name for employees here employees okay employees i'll go here and i will say employees dot length okay sometimes in your project we are going to write like this question mark okay what is this question mark means uh, suppose your backend is written in a null null value okay if you are calling any data on the null value you are going to get error because of this line okay it is going to get a, a blank line white page error correct right to solve this problem we are writing a question mark and dot this whenever you are adding this question mark what it will do if it is having any value then only it will call the second parameter if the, if suppose this value is a null it will not call at all and it will not print any output it is a safer side that is the reason we are writing like a question mark and a dot normally we will write dot only right this question mark is if this is a not null value then only you execute this something like this okay so let us see here and we can write a bracket and again i can add a brackets okay so 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 10 employees are there now what i want to do i want to load next 10 employees correct right so that is the reason here in the bottom i want to write one div and i want to write a two buttons right side one button left side one button okay so let us write one uh, div here so where is wherever your table is done let us go to bottom of the table and write one div okay we know how to write a div that is okay inside the div i want to write a three first is the center which page we are left side button right side button right let's write one three buttons i will say button okay so i will say left arrow this is a left arrow right okay so let us write like a i will say left later i will add the icon we know that react icon right or we can add the icon itself i will i will add the icon i will say right in the center i am going to show like a span i am going to like a page number like currently i know which page number we want to do it right so something like this let us reload it again okay so here we are showing like a left hand page here in the bottom here it is coming let us style do something here okay uh, let us write like a so we want to write like a uh, employee page suppose this is a class name and do you have any styles here in the uh, ap dot css okay we want to write like a overflow is equal to auto okay height is equal to 100 percentage okay overflow is equal to auto okay something let me just you, you adjust the height for this guy table let's go to this employee main content okay let's go to so height okay yeah okay now let's close this one so now this is coming here okay earlier it is coming in the bottom now automatically styles are applied suppose you want to make it in the center uh, you can uh, do like a styling so you can go to this here and you add all this span and uh, like you are adding i'm adding all to the span and you can say class is equal to mx iphone auto so what is that mx iphone auto will do generally it will automatically if that is working it will add to the center of the screen okay so here suppose here it is there that is okay so now i want to add ms like margin auto or you can write like a display flex uh, you can say class is equal to df and flex and uh, justify content iphone content iphone center okay see automatically it's coming in the center of the screen that is okay okay now here what is the first step i want to do it uh, 
I want to show the current page number. What is the first page? Page number one, right? Now I want to track these changes. That is the reason I want to have a in state variable. Correct, right? Whenever I'm clicking next page, what I have to do? I have to store my in a state. That is the reason I will go here. Now, do you know how to take one state variable, use state variable? Uh, you want to write one use state variable? Ah, uh, constant. Okay. Page number, comma, set page number. Uh, page number is equal to what is the default page number? One. Now I will display this page number in the bottom. Go to bottom and you remove here and you write like a page number. Okay. So this is the first step. So let us uh, reload that again. See, this is the page number one is there. That is okay. Let us, uh, you can style these buttons also. Class this name is equal to btn, btn iPhone primary and uh, do the same thing for the left side also. Okay. So now this is okay. And you can add some icon also. You know how to add the React icons, right? You can go for React icons. And already we have installed that uh, library. Okay. So let's go for left icon. You can add any icon. This icon, you can go for this symbol. Or you can go for whichever the symbol you like it. You can go for, okay. Uh, let me go for this symbol. I have copied. Okay. This is a, a yay. Yay means uh, and icons. This is a okay and I can't I will copy this icon. I'll go here. Uh, first I need to import the icon. I have imported the icon. And what is the name of the icon? I want to import it. Uh, there will be left icon. See, uh, either I can go for this icon or I'll let me check with the left also. So this is the left. Uh, and is there any left icon? Yes. I like this left. Uh, let me click here and go and add it here. Okay, I got the icon right. Uh, okay, copy it and go to the bottom. And inside the left, we'll remove here and I'll say something like this. Okay, let's go and verify here. See, there is icon came right. Okay, if you want to increase the size, you can increase the font size. And same thing you can do it for right also. Suppose I want to do this right, I'll copy here and first import the icon. Okay, I'll copy like a comma and add it. Okay, done. Now I want to add it in the bottom. So remove this right. I'll use like a uh, something like this. Okay, save it. Let's go and verify here. See, icons are done. And there is a number also, it is there. Okay, that is like, if you want to give any space, you can give the uh, class name here. Class name is equal to mx-2. That means I want both sides some space is there. Now this is okay. Now the next step, what we want to do, whenever we are clicking next, okay, now what we have to do, what is your expectation? Here, what is the number you want to do it? Page number two, correct, right? So now we need to handle the button, right? So here, and whenever you are clicking here, what is your expectation? So right side, you need to increase one. Left side, you need to decrease one, okay? Let us write one handle function. So I'm going to write a here, I'm going to write one function, okay? Let's go and write one function, function, okay? Handle page okay handle page okay so uh you can write either you can write it two functions ma okay handle page right okay so whenever you want to right click what you have to do i need to write like a set page number okay inside the page number i need to write page number plus one that means i need to increase suppose i want to decrease it uh, what you have to do again write a page number left uh, what you are going to write inside the code simple uh, set page number page number minus one. So let us first we'll try it here. Save it and let us try to, I need to integrate with the buttons right now. Let's go to the button. Okay, I'll go to the button. This is the left side button. Class name is equal to, sorry, not class name. Uh, on click is equal to, what we have to do now? Handle left, like we want handle page left. Okay, and I want to do it for right side. Now tell me how to do it. On click is equal to handle page right correct right uh, handle page right okay now we are done now we are increasing file save all okay now done let's let's see see the number two but we are not reloading the data that i will do it later very that is very very minor only so now see the data data page number is going right uh, very very simple okay now the last step is uh, whenever we are clicking here and it should not go beyond minus one ma 
okay so whenever we are clicking uh, letter the less than zero we should not go it you can have a check here you can go to your page now page left page left is this one only right here you can say like this if okay page number is greater than one then only we want to reduce it otherwise we don't want to reduce it even i want to write like a page number greater than two only that means uh, not like uh, one, one one is correct okay so else we can say we can write an invalid page number something like this uh you know the toast right so let us write one toast message toast okay react toast uh, okay already we have the toast toast dot so this is not an error we'll give in a warning we'll give a warning okay something like this you can click here ma. so suppose see here now you, if i click also now it will not reduce it is it will show page number cannot be less than one so that is okay but we will not show the warning also we will disable this button later we will do it okay for now for our testing let us go here now i'll click on one yes it is going i'll reduce it it is going to till zero it will not go less than this now this is a character now the last only pending part is whenever i am clicking i want to reload my data what is your task now whenever you are clicking you want to reload your data okay so this is very very simple we are going to use one hook called use so here what is the data we are using it use effect we are using it right by default what is the array you are giving here empty array that means how many times this will be executed only one time correct right now what i want to do whenever i my page number is changes i want to execute this same code what is my requirement whenever my page number is changes i want to execute the same that is the reason here what is my variable name here page number i will copy the page number i will give as an argument here now that means this use effect is dependent on the page number this use effect is dependent on the page number if you do any change in the page number automatically you are going to call the api you no need to write any special code okay now the only last part is uh, i need to send this page number also to the back end correct right so that is the reason i will go to my api here and i'm taking callback right i will write a callback first i will take a argument page number comma callback now how many arguments i'm taking uh, two arguments i will copy this page number here i am writing is equal to one right i will i will remove that one i will say plus page number that means i am directly dynamically passing the page number and page limit is a 10 only that is okay and now in the api here uh, we need to pass the first what is my page number i need to pass it a page number and callback is a set data okay now this is the part again i am telling i am writing a use effect use effect will take a two arguments okay and the second argument is like a usually will pass a empty array empty array means uh, i want to execute only one time but in this scenario my scenario is different whenever my page number is changes uh, i want to again call api okay i no need to again write a button click nothing simply i can write it like this page number whenever this page number is changes automatically this function will be called let us see the demo again file save all okay so let us go and verify it this time so what is the employee number we are 1 to 10 okay let's click here to okay uh, let me reload the page again file login and login api let me go to employees see first time 1 to 10 is coming let me click here okay so uh, go and check whether api is call is going or not okay so network okay see whether the api network call is going or not uh, employee is going okay and data is reloading okay data is reloading whether what is the data we are getting it uh, id number is equal to 4 to 14 is there correct right uh, let me go to next uh, next again uh, what is the next data okay we are getting all the data here and see whatever the data is there uh, it, it, it is the same data i am gonna let me reload the first page okay we are reloading it let me log in here our our front end code is perfectly working okay uh, let me go to employees here we are getting the data so how many data we are getting till 13 okay that's fine and uh, see the parameters limit is equal to 10 page number is equal to 1 okay 
so i'll click here and click on one and uh, let me see the parameters what is the parameter it is sending it a two dynamically it is changing right and the response see the response uh, three four five something like this it is there okay so that means something wrong uh, from the back end only we are sending the correct data and you can verify from the swagger same thing so what is the data we are we are looking let us go to employee employee data controller employees okay and uh, see the parameter name uh, limit one is the limit okay Am I sending the correct numbers or not? Let me verify it. Limit is equal to 10. And what is the second parameter here? Page number. Okay. So let us try to verify it here. Try 1, 10 and click on execute. What is the data I'm getting? 4. Till 13 I'm getting. Okay. Let me go to the top and I will give a uh, 5 page. Okay. Execute. And what is the data I am getting here? Ah, okay, I am getting the same data. That means there is something uh, problem from the back end part, uh, but our front end part is exactly working. You see, again, let us work on our demo here. Okay, so if I am clicking next, uh, what is the page, current page? Uh, third page. If you go to the third page and uh, see the data, what is the URL we are sending it? Uh, third. Who is sending the API again? This use effect. Uh, use effect. We are not writing any special code again. Initially, we have written with empty argument. This time, we are giving like a page number. That means whenever page number is changes, automatically our backend API will be called. Like this, automatically, if server is written any other data, we, your page is also loading the reloading other data. You don't need to do any other things. Automatically, it will load the data. Okay. So, this concept is nothing but a pagination. You got it right. So, inside the pagination, what are the main techniques? Ma? So in an interview, they will ask, okay, inside the pagination, how you are going to handle in the front end side. First thing, we, we want to write a, a button panel, something like this, okay, which will track a current page number and the next button and the previous button. And whenever we are clicking next button, what we have to do, we have to increase page number. Whenever you are clicking previous, we need to decrease the page number and we need to call the API right in that API, how many parameters we need to send it? Uh, two parameters. What are the two parameters? Uh, one is a limit. Another is a page number. Which page number we want to send it? These two things we need to send it. If you are sending these two, automatically this will work out. Okay. So the backend has to backend guys has to fix this number. Okay, page number.